post-operative care following pterygium surgeries with doctors Melissa and Rolando Toyos. Lodamax SM Lodapretinol Atemide Ophthalmic Gel 0.38% is a corticosteroid indicated for the treatment of post-operative inflammation and pain following ocular surgery. Please see important safety information at the end of this video. Pterygia is a fibrovascular outgrowth of conjunctiva over the cornea, often caused by UV light or overexposure. We've seen a lot of these cases in outside laborers that come into our clinic for treatment. It can affect anyone who spends long hours in the midday sun, on the water, or even on the ski slopes. Pterygia can be really aggressive and grow back. I think we've fine-tuned our approach with conjunctival sparing techniques, use of autographs to reduce recurrence, and suturing as opposed to gluing those autographs. We treat a high-risk population with post-surgical compliance challenges. Post-operative care is especially important for those with physically demanding jobs who are exposed to the outside irritants that can cause pterygia or worsen them. We're going to share our experience using Lodamax SM following pterygia surgery in two separate cases to reduce inflammation in very different patients. Yeah, our first patient is a 54-year-old Hispanic male with recurrent pterygia in the right eye that was previously treated. In the left eye, his pterygium is blocking the pupillary axis. The patient has a history of strong sun exposure with no other known medical history. The procedure we discuss in this video was done in the left eye. Our second patient is a 50-year-old Hispanic female with both glaucoma and cataracts. This is a primary pterygium in both of her eyes. The procedure shown in this video was done in her right eye. So what I'm doing here, this is an injection of lidocaine under the conjunctiva to numb the excision sites in our male patient. The first injection is where I excise healthy tissue from the graft. It's unexposed conjunctiva that's covered by the eyelid, so it's clear. But it also shows how we can blow up that injection spot, planning to leave enough space between the pterygium where we're taking off the nice, healthy rim of prelimbal conjunctiva to sew the graft with. The next step in the procedure to excise the graft, but I want to stress how important it is to dissect the conjunctiva from the tenons capsule. The tenons capsule is the tissue that's problematic. We only want conjunctiva from the graft and complications arise when too much conjunctiva is removed. And it can be very tight when you do that. This was an extensive pterygium excision, but the approach was otherwise technically the same with our female patient. After we excise the pterygium, we attach the graft, as you can see in the second case. The reason people don't do the full pterygium repair is that it's tedious, it takes a long time. Some people use glue to secure the graft, but I prefer sutures to glue. Even though it takes a long time to put these dissolvable sutures in, I can relax knowing that it's, that graft is going to stay, even if they go back to work. Some patients go back to work immediately, and I feel they're better served by this technique. When both procedures were complete, we prescribed Lodamax SM, which is what we typically prescribe after pterygia excisions. Lodamax SM has a favorable safety profile for its strength. It offers reduced inflammation with low risk of intraocular spikes and gives us the type of anti-inflammatory control that we need even in these tough cases. The no shaking required formulation is also appealing to us because it delivers consistent dosing. Our patients don't have extended time off for recovery. All we can do is ask that they adhere to our care plan once they return to work. The female patient reported no pain and minimal inflammation postoperatively with no change in vision. She was prescribed Lodamax SM three times daily for two weeks. The patient was very satisfied with the treatment. In the male patient, the eye was watery after the procedure with only mild redness and he reported no pain. Lodamax SM was prescribed three times daily for him for two weeks. So here we have two different patients, one a primary pterygium and the other a recurrent pterygium, and Lodamax SM worked great for both of them. Lodamax SM is our drug of choice for post-op care for both pterygia and other types of ocular surgeries. In our practice, it's a tool we rely on. For sure. Indication, Lodamax SM Lodapretinol Atepanate Ophthalmic Gel 0.38% is a corticosteroid indicated for the treatment of post-operative inflammation and pain following ocular surgery. Important safety information, Lodamax SM, as with other ophthalmic corticosteroids, is contraindicated in most viral diseases of the cornea and conjunctiva, including epithelial herpes simplex keratitis, dendritic keratitis, vaccinia and varicella, and also in mycobacterial infection of the eye and fungal diseases of ocular structures.
nerves. Prolonged use of corticosteroids may result in glaucoma with damage to the optic nerve, defects in visual acuity and fields of vision. Steroids should be used with caution in the presence of glaucoma. If Lotamax SM is used for 10 days or longer, IOP should be monitored. Use of corticosteroids may result in posterior subcapsular cataract formation. The use of steroids after cataract surgery may delay healing and increase the incidence of bleb formation. In those with diseases causing thinning of the cornea or sclera, perforations have been known to occur with the use of topical steroids. The initial prescription and renewal of the medication order should be made by a physician only after examination of the patient with the aid of magnification, such as slit lamp biomicroscopy, and where appropriate, fluorescein staining. Prolonged use of corticosteroids may suppress the host response and thus increase the hazard of secondary ocular infections. In acute purulent conditions, steroids may mask infection or enhance existing infections. Employment of a corticosteroid medication in the treatment of patients with a history of herpes simplex requires great caution. Use of ocular steroids may prolong the course and may exacerbate the severity of many viral infections of the eye, including herpes simplex. Fungal infections of the cornea are particularly prone to develop coincidentally with long-term local steroid application. Fungus invasion must be considered in any persistent corneal ulceration where a steroid has been used or is in use. Fungal cultures should be taken when appropriate. Contact lenses should not be worn when the eyes are inflamed. There were no treatment emergent adverse drug reactions that occurred in more than 1% of subjects in the three times daily group compared to vehicle. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see full prescribing information for Lotamax SM at www.lotamaxsm.com. Explore using Lotamax SM in any ocular surgery at www.lotamaxsm.com.